Hey, what's up, guys? Coach Bobby here. Happy Monday. Wanted to talk to you guys today about being uh, selfless in your relationship with your body. Now, many of you have heard me talk about the relationship with your body and how it's not unlike any other relationship in your life. And I was talking to a friend of mine uh, this weekend, and it reminded me of this this lesson that I'm always trying to trying to teach people about the relationship with your body. And I really believe, and I, and I have a list of about 20 things, 20 ways that the relationship we have with our body is not unlike any other one in our lives. And if we look at things that way, it makes the approach to working out, the approach to eating better, easier. Not, not easy, but easier. Uh, just like you know, raising children or being in a relationship with a spouse or having friends that you love that don't always get along with, or having siblings you grew up with, just like those relationships are not always easy and seamless, the one with your body is also not seamless. And so I'm gonna to talk today about being selfless and how I believe that part of the reason you're not making it where you are with your fitness is because you're selfish, right? You're selfish. And you're not gonna to wanna to hear this because it's gonna ring true for many of you, but hear me out, right? So in any relationship you're in, right, with a spouse, with friends, with your children, with siblings, there's give and take, right? Maria and I, you know, like different things. There's some commonality, right, with what we like, but at the end of the day, there is a subset of things that she loves that I either don't like or like a little bit. And there's things that I love that she either likes a little bit or not a lot. Like she loves football now that, that, that she's married me and we've kind of grown. Um, I've always been there, but I, I, I've kind of brought her on board. You know, some might say selfishly, right? But I brought her on board to be a fan of football, right? So she loves football, not as much as me, right? So she can watch the Cowboys play, right? She can watch, you know, a game or two on the weekend, but I could watch football all day Saturday, all day Sunday, Monday night, Thursday night, whatever. So there's times when I could still watch football, but she's done, right? So I have to acknowledge that. She likes Lifetime. She likes reality shows. Some of those things I've grown to like, some things I'll just watch for her, right? So there's give and take. There's times where she'll watch football with me because I wanna watch football or I'll watch a Lifetime movie with her because she wants to watch a Lifetime movie, right? Yes, I might like it. Yes, she might like football, but there's times where we don't, but we give and take, right? There's times I remember, and this is my best analogy, when our kids were small and I would sit down with Jackie or Amari and I would watch Barney or some dumb show on Nickelodeon and I would sit there and watch it with them, right? Realizing that this is what they want to watch. This ain't for me. It's for them, right? This time together is, is for them. I go and watch, you know, Jackie dance or Amari play sports or do things or do a spelling, do whatever it is, right? There's better things. There's, there's things I'd rather do sometimes, but I'm not doing it for me. I'm doing it for them, right? So the same rings true with our bodies, right? When we eat broccoli or chicken breast or when we skip on the dessert, that ain't for fucking us, that ain't for us, that's for the body, right? So we're being selfish if we believe we have to always have what we want, right? There's ourselves and then there's, there's, the, there's the fit version of ourselves or our body, I refer to it as our body. So it's a relationship between us and our body and most of us are so freaking selfish that we always have to have what the fuck we want, right? We always have to have what we want. And I'm, I was talking to a friend of mine and I was trying to get him to understand, okay, look, you know, there's times when you might have to not eat that, or you might have to eat, you know, spinach or, or, or throw some, you know, MCT oil in your coffee or your shake or do this. And, and each thing I suggested was met with, oh, I can't do that. Oh, that's nasty. Oh, that's gross. Or that's, and it was like, man, I mean, you're not willing to give up anything. You can't, you can't sacrifice anything in this relationship. Right, you have to always be enjoying. It's all about you all the damn time, really. All about you all the time, really. So if you're not willing to say, you know what, I'm I'm eat, I'm gonna eat broccoli and and lean chicken tonight, 
and acknowledge this ain't for you. Tomorrow's for you. Tomorrow the beer and chips is for you. Right now the broccoli and chicken breast ain't for you. Right? It ain't always about you. Stop being selfish and, and, and for once in your life in the relationship with your body like you probably do in every other thing you do in your life with your spouses, with your friends, just give and take. You do things you don't like doing because they like doing them. You do it for them because you love them, right? Well, are you telling me you don't love your body enough to sacrifice some things for your body, right? So you got, you know, you got to get up early to go work out. I, I don't like doing that. But you'll get up on a Saturday morning and drive your kids to a game in the rain that you don't want to go to. Or you'll stay up late to do something with your wife that you don't want to do. But for your body, you can't get up three times a week to go work out because you, cause, cause you're selfish, right? So it's about understanding that there's things – in any relationship, including the one with your body, that you don't want to fucking do, right? But you do them because you love your body, and you know that in the end, you want that relationship to work, right? So if you want your body to respond to you and love you back, you have to be willing to sacrifice things for your body, right? Things that, that you don't want to do sometimes, all right? So I hope that makes some sense and that you can acknowledge that, that it's all about, sure, there's things you don't want to do, but if you look at it that way, and the, if, if the relationship is important to you, like you say it is, then you'll sacrifice some things until those things become easier. Now now I can watch Lifetime movies with, with Maria. Now she can watch football games with me. But, but in the beginning, those things were hard for each of us, right? So at some point, getting up and working out is going to be easier. At some point, eating healthier is going to be easier. But right now, that because it's not does not take away from the fact that you have to do it if you indeed care about this relationship. All right. So I hope that makes some sense. I hope it it's it drives home the message. And I, I have plenty of other ways that I outline that the relationship with our with our bodies is just like the other ones in our lives. And I'll I'll go over some more in videos. And I'm I'm putting together a book that's going to contain all those all those all those similarities. But this one just came to me, you know, over the weekend. I was talking to a friend of mine, and I just had to come on, on video and share. So uh, stop being selfish, right? Make some sacrifices. Have some give and take with your body so that you can, in the end of it, have a body that, that you're proud to be with, that your body responds to you in the right way. All right, guys? So until next time, uh, as always, continue to get better every day, right? BTY, better than yesterday. All right, guys, take care. Have a great week. Bye-bye.